Hello and welcome um, to Thursday's video. Um, these are videos that I do on Sunday and Thursday and today I have God with me. Um, so um, that's very interesting. Now of course um, there, there are times when I bring through the angelic realm um, many of the saints from the Bible era and um, Jesus and, and, and Mother Mary and um, just just a wonderful array of of evolved souls and so if you're interested in in watching these these videos and wish to be enlightened as to what they have to say don't forget to subscribe and press the bell or follow if you're on instagram so without further ado let's go and speak to god and see what he has to say god is saying that um he has um, a slightly troubled um, troubled mind and he and, and the reason why he has a troubled mind is that he has been pondering over how he would present today's video because he feels that the words that he's going to present today is is somewhat contentious and and he feels that um, it may <coughs> some people may not be um, um, like the words that he is bringing forward but nevertheless he says that um, his aim always with these videos is that he wants to bring through the whole truth and even if some of the truths are unpalatable or difficult to take on board or are against previous teaching he wishes that that this truth must come through and he wants to bring forward always at times the truth and he's saying so today's video is um he wants to talk about how um he made the earth and and he says that the earth um has um on on the earth plane we've had many theories as to as to what's happened um but he's saying to me that the earth um wasn't always in existence um and that when he found himself in in a pool of darkness and and a pool of what he considers to be misery he decided that he must create life so that life can be all around him that life can exist and this is when he decided to create the the earth and and give it um its name of of the earth and also give it a place where all of his creation can live and he says that um but when he first created earth um he did have some problems and these problems were were not always not so quickly correctable um, because the problems that he had was that when um, animals were first placed on the on the earth plane some of the animals were so destructive to each other and and caused harm to each other that he had to eradicate the existence and start again and he says this is something that hasn't been spoken about this is something that not many people know about um, about the the early beginnings of creation but he wants to confirm to, to all of us that this is something that that's not going to take place with with mankind this is something that that he will always be looking to improve and he says let's face it we we have come so far um, mankind has achieved so much and he would never ever ever want to destroy mankind and he never wants people to think that um, but he says that the reason why he wanted to destroy the creation is he wanted always from the beginning to make make improvements to what he was was doing he he feels that the improvements were so so important 
So when he finally got the idea of creating man, he knew that this was the creation, that this was the creation that he really, really wanted. This was the creation that excited him more than any other creation that has, has existed. He wanted man because he wanted companionship. He wanted man to be an equal to him. He wanted man to, to have love in their hearts and he wanted man to be um, good. Um, but sadly, um, man didn't quite live up to um, his initial idea of the creation. And so he had to go to a different way of thinking and a different way of, of considering man. And this is when he put in a place of, of correction. And, and what, what he means by correction is that he took man and he gave them opportunities to exist. And then when they had to consider their lives or consider everything they've done, then things had to be corrected, things had to be put in place where they would be improved souls or better souls. And so this is where the, the idea of, of reincarnation, of, of living another life over and over and over again until all of those growths have, got, have come into the soul and the soul becomes a better better person, a better being um, of existence. As you know that man has been uh, um, in existence for a long time now and he is proud to say that his creation has been um, what he considers to be one of his greatest successes. And he also feels that, that man is, is now ready to move to the next stage. But he also feels that, um, that man, um, for the most part, man have are good, man are kind, and man is loving to, to one another. And he's rather proud of, of the achievements that we've all made because he says there was a time where he was a little worried that he thought that man would never get there. Man was, was struggling with their involvement and, and not being um, in the way that he wanted for his creation. But he now has reached a point where there is this glimmer of hope and love from him where he feels that man is succeeding, man is turning the corner, man is being better than he could possibly ever imagine. And this is why when, when he talks about all the previous um, talks that he has given, this is why he is considering the new steps that he is taking in place, the new steps for our involvement, the new steps for our, our being. And, and he feels that this new way of living is, is, going to, is, is a mark is a credit to man. It's a mark of his respect for man. It's, a, it's an indication of how far man has come and how evolved man is. And he wants to say to all of man um, and all those that are choosing to watch this video that he is proud, very proud. As a father to you all, I am proud of you and your existence and how far you have come and how good you are and how well you are. And he's thanking you and he's bowing my head. It is my greatest wish from the beginning of eternity that I had a friend, that I had people that I loved, that I had nothing but good creation. Now, I am at a stage in my existence where I feel that I am achieving this, that man has come so far in their existence, that man is good, man is loving, and man is kind. He wants to thank you for again for, for watching the video. And um, so um, I just want to talk. Uh, what I realise from this is that the patience that God has had, 
and incredible patience that he has been by our sides for the whole of our existence um, as mankind for, for I think it's about four billion or million years or I don't know how long it is but it's a lot long time and and I I just think how kind and loving he is to all of us and how lucky we are to have God um, as our father who art in heaven and thank you for watching and see you next Sunday goodbye